And that ties into our last slide here. This is something you'll see in our uh, fair value measurements, fair value valuation chapter, level one, two, and three valuations. We'll see that more there. It's not going to beat this to death here. Uh, level one quoted prices. So these are level one. So stocks would be level one because you can Google and you can see a quoted price, right? You can Google online and see how much your stock is worth. Level two, this is where you have similar observable prices. So if I have a house, I can't immediately know the price of my house, right? Like even the Zillow price, that's not, it's not accurate. That's not really like an accurate value of my house. But let's say my neighbor's house just sold for $200,000. Well, if I have the same house as my neighbor, then I could probably say my house is worth $200,000. So that's observing something else, a similar asset. Lastly, level three, unobservable prices. So this would be you know, something really specific that you just don't have anything you could observe. So um, maybe we discover a new type of renewable energy. Awesome. But you can't really compare it to anything else because it's completely new. It's, it's revolutionary. That would be a level three on the fair value hierarchy. It's going to be, you're probably going to need some specialized team to you know, even attempt to give it a value. And those are our three levels of valuation.